we have a bunch of really sick MW2 leaks to go through here in today's video regarding multiple MP maps from past CODs, including COD 4, MW2, and MW3 being remade and brought into this year's Call of Duty. We'll go through all the info you guys need to know in today's video. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. We're super close to 90k on the channel, and be sure to drop a like on the video as well. Now, first up here, we have Credible Leaker Ralph over on Twitter. He tweets this out with Modern Warfare 2's DLC expanding into 2023. Infinity Ward plans to incorporate more remastered maps than previously intended, spanning across Call of Duty 4. MW2 and MW3. Now that is some super interesting news for a number of reasons. First up here, if you guys didn't know, for 2023, we are not expected to get a full Call of Duty Premium release that year. That of course opens the door to a number of other Call of Duty projects and updates, such as a potential Zombies Free to Play title for Treyarch, we talked about that recently, and of course, a full year two DLC season for MW2. Now, up until this point, we really haven't had full year two seasons for Call of Duties in the past for Black Ops 3. We had a DLC 5 during that game's year two season. That was just one map pack, the Zombies Chronicles 1 map pack. That was it. For other games, we had extra content. Most recently, Modern Warfare 2019. We had a couple new MP maps, some weapons. That's really it. It wasn't a big deal. They barely marketed it as well. For Black Ops Cold War, we have some minor year two content. We could still see a lot more over the course of the next couple of months. So we'll see how big, you know, Cold War's year two season is. But up until this point, the year two seasons for these past CODs haven't been too crazy. But it seems like for MW2, since there's no Call of Duty releasing during its second year, and we know Activision wants to make this game one of the best selling, if not the best selling COD of all time, going off of the success of MW 2019, we know for sure that not only will we have a ton of content for MW2's year two season, we know it's going to be some good content, some quality content, and they're going to want to promote and make it a huge, huge deal. Not just a bunch of minor maps being dropped, no marketing like we have right now with Cold War's year two season or even MW2019's year two season. So that being said, I'm expecting this to be huge here. I'm expecting the DLC rollout to be huge as well. And this brings us into the remain map discussion because now that we have this news, they are expanding MW2's remakes. Of course, what we know right now, the leaks we have right now, is that we are getting a bunch of remade maps from MW2, the 2009 version of the game, of course. That makes sense. I mean, we had leaks about Afghan, Favela, Quarry, and Terminal being a part of the Warzone-themed MW2 map, which is also going to be used for the third DMZ game mode. Now, I'm also assuming these maps will also be brought into the 6v6 multiplayer modes. That just makes the most sense. If not, that would suck. But, you know, they're already in the Warzone map. They're already in DMZ. Might as well bring them over to MP as well. Now, outside of those maps, I'd expect them to add a couple of other MW2 maps from the original game in this year's MW2. But for the expanded DLC season, now that we're getting maps from COD for MW2 and MW3, and we're also going to have new maps as well for the DLC season, I'm assuming. We have a lot more stuff to pick from here. We have the potential to see a lot more MW2 maps and a lot more just remade maps in general, which I don't know about you guys. I like seeing remade maps. As long as all of the content isn't just full of remakes, then I'm always down to see some classic maps return on top of the newly created maps as well. Now, to go through here, let's look at these past games and see what maps do we want to see remade in MW2. I picked five maps from these three games that I want to see return in MW2. These aren't necessarily the top five maps from each of these multiplayers. These are just five maps that I kind of want to see. And of course, you guys can have your own list down below. So as I go through COD 4, MW2, and MW3, leave your top five maps you want to see remade from these games down below in the comment section, and I'll be sure to put them up on screen in a different video where we go through these maps again. I can hop back into the games on the 360, record some gameplay, and really go back and see, do we actually want to see these maps return in MW2 this year? So first up here for COD 4, Modern Warfare, we have Wet Work, Strike, Crossfire, bog and crash so for my list here i try to pick a mixture of very popular maps and maps that maybe aren't as popular but are still really fun i think wet work is definitely not as popular a lot of people know it though it's still a classic map i think it's super super fun of course crash strike crossfire most people know bog as well 
popular but not as known i thought it was a really really fun map so that's my list for cod 4 of course cod 4 had a bunch of other really fun mp maps but for this list here i'm only picking five per game now for mw2 here we have a bunch of maps and i'm expecting this game to have more than five mw2 remakes but again here's just my list that i want to see personally afghan high rise skid row terminal and sub base so these are maps again a mixture of popular maps high rise afghan terminal and maybe some less popular but still known and classic maps like sub base and skid row i mean there's so many other great maps as well karachi rundown uh derail i'm pretty sure like that, that's another great one so there are so many other great mp maps and again for this year's game i think the most remakes we'll see will be from mw2 2009 but again we'll see very soon these are just five maps that i want to see them focus on in this year's game now for mw3 one of my favorite call of duties of all time we have so many great maps. I mean, I was looking at the list here to make this video, and there are just so many to choose from. But just to pick five, we have Mission, Sea Town, Hard Hat, even though it was in MW 2019. I want to see it again. Resistance, and of course, Village. Great, great MP maps. I have so many memories playing Domination on those maps, especially Infected as well. I mean, those maps were so fun. And there are so many other great DLC maps in that game as well. I remember off the top of my head, Overwatch, one of the first DLC maps I ever played in Call of Duty history. Liberation is another one as well. There are just so many classic and memorable maps from that game. And of course, MW2 this year is going to be most mostly focused and based around MW2 from 2009, but I do think we're going to see a decent amount of MW3 love in this game as well. So again, leave your comments down below. Five maps from each game from COD4, MW2, and MW3 that you want to see remade. If you guys don't want to do five per game, just give me one or two per game and let me know so I can get a good gauge as to what everyone really wants to see and in the future i'll look at all the comments i'll put them up in the video but also i'll do some separate polls to really get a good sense of what maps we want to see remade in this year's game now let's talk a little bit about some upcoming mw2 teasers the reveal and all that good stuff as we talked about in february when we first got some mw2 info we had some stuff from leaguers telling us that we would get our first teases of this game in the next eight weeks and as of recording this video march 26th 2022 it's been over eight weeks now with leaks like this and rumors of course you can't look at it and say well this is exactly going to happen when we say that maps are coming out from leaks of course you got to take it with a grain of salt it could happen sometimes the leaks are very credible it's likely to happen but it's definitely not confirmed so this teaser stuff here i still think it's very possible to see our first teases very soon if we look at a more traditional call of duty teaser season before black ops cold war and vanguard we would usually get our first teasers around april that is not early it's not an early time whatsoever to see a teaser for a new cod game and the full reveal sometimes for past call of duties dating back to bo2 i remember that was late april early may for modern warfare 2019 that was actually the end of may and back then in that year that was considered a late reveal now for cold war and vanguard we had reveals all the way towards the middle to end of august i don't think that's going to happen all of the leakers have been telling us that we're going to get a much earlier reveal and probably on par with the mw 2019 reveal so for a full gameplay reveal with the story trailer campaign stuff you know all that good stuff that should be the end of may this year but for the first couple of teasers we could see that a lot earlier now i do want to say as well with modern warfare in 2019 we actually didn't get much of any real teasers in terms of like a teaser marketing campaign with mini videos and tweets on their twitter i like that little stuff personally i know everyone you know they may think like you know matters are bugging out it's not that big of a deal but i like when they have little drops of info it's fun to talk about and it gets me super excited so if iw starts tweeting out some random images of captain price some random quotes as well and then they start tweeting out some you know short five to 10 second teaser videos just shots of a certain part of a campaign mission or maybe five seconds of the beginning of the full mw2 reveal trailer if they do that as a way to start hyping up this game and to hype up the full reveal at the end of may that would be so sick i love when they do marketing like that i think it would work it would get us excited it would get people talking every week about you know what's going to be the new mw2 teaser this week and it would be so sick so again we'll see very soon I just want to let you guys know that we are just around the corner from seeing our first real official MW2 teasers. Could be this week, could be next week. It's coming very soon. As you've seen with Vanguard, things have been fairly quiet. We just got our Season 2 Reloaded update 
and it seems like you know we never got that update i mean we have a double xp weekend but there really hasn't been much of any true marketing for vanguard i mean we, we got some minor marketing for season two reloaded but barely anything the trailer came out on the same day as the update and we got some content we got that new arms race mode we got some stuff in the game but overall it wasn't a major update and it seems like they're setting the stage for some like dry period in call of duty to have some mw2 teasers to where that's the main spotlight so there's no current vanguard stuff there's no current warzone stuff and the spotlight will just be on the first couple of mw2 teasers and then we'll go take a break with vanguard season three and around the middle to end of april and then after season three comes out in the middle of season three which brings us to around the end of may or the beginning of season three i should say that's going to be prime time for mw2 full-on trailers reveals etc so that's my expectations here. I'll be sure to update you guys on any more info we get on this. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. You want to see more update videos on this on MW2 reveal teasers, info, stuff like that. We're also covering Cold War Year 2 Warzone updates as well. So again, be sure to subscribe. Really do appreciate it, guys. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you. So be sure to check one of them out. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.